Few artists of the 20th century have used flowers in their work as effectively as Lovis Corinth. In this late work, created in the year of Corinth's death, one can feel the tension between the artist's sense of mortality and his inexhaustible love of life. Corinth places the vase not in the centre of the painting, but on the right-hand edge of the table, in the so-called golden section. The finesse of this compositional feature serves to further increase the work's intrinsic tension. Individual muted tones rupture the purity of the bouquet and already anticipate the eventual fading of the flowers. Despite his own declining health, however, in this work Corinth strives to depict the fullness of life and the splendour of existence. The entire painting is dominated by intense colours, relegating details such as the type of flower depicted to a secondary role. The splendidly coloured, blazing, ample flowers, simply bursting with life, are rendered in a bright red and yellow, and the artist uses the thicker impasto of the white brush strokes to bathe them in a dulcet light. During the modern period, artists tended to experiment with different painting techniques, exploring far beyond their academic training. This work by Lovis Corinth is a very good example of a mixture of Impressionist and Expressionist approaches. Corinth painted extremely quickly in the impasto technique, adding layers while previous ones were still wet, creating a vibrant and highly textured paint surface. Corinth is master of the proper combination of colours, and while he depicts the background and the vase in somewhat muted tones, he enables each flower to come into its own through its respective colour, and so a wonderful total picture emerges.